What's going on guys, it's Brian and this is part 14 of my PC build series and in this video I will be wiring everything together. This is the part I've been worrying about the most because as you can see it's already a huge mess of cables in the case but hopefully I can do my best to sort of clean everything up. So I'm not really going to give you any commentary, I'm just going to sort of plug everything in and then show you where everything goes in a bit. So for most of these things I will have to refer to the motherboard manual so I know where to plug in the front panel indicators and things like that. So here I got the manual with me and first I'm going to start with the motherboard power. Now on to the huge mess of cables coming out of the power supply. Let me move, remove all of the cables that go into the case or that are coming from the front panel of the case and for the Motherboard power, we're going to need this one. So I'm just going to move them around a little bit, and this one will go right here. Okay, so I got everything on the motherboard wired up, the front panel, the uh, video card, the hard drives, the DVD drive and all that, the media card reader, all of that is wired up. And this is actually the back side of the case where the, um, so if you're looking at the case from the front, this would be the, the right side. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take that cover and put it on. This is going to pretty much hide the mess of cables that we have here because I didn't go modular. So, so far this is what the inside looks like. Let me go ahead and see what it looks like on camera. That looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try to hide as many of these cables as possible. I don't know how well that's going to work out. Okay, so I think everything is wired up. All the front stuff, the USB 3.0 port is right here. I have to plug that into the board. Uh, the video card is plugged in for the power and all that stuff. I'm actually going to move the rear exhaust fan cable under over here just to make things a little more neater. And you know what? This is not too bad of a case. I have so many wires shoved up into these extra unused drive bays behind the back plate and the back case cover. There's a bunch of wires everywhere back there, but this is pretty much all people are going to really look at anyway, so who cares? Um, I think that's it. So to finish this off, I'm going to take our side panel and we're going to go ahead and put it on. And I only put one PCI Express power cable into the one six pin into the video card. I'm not sure if I need to use both or if I need to use the one that's on the motherboard, but we'll find out soon. So it's actually really, it's quite tidy inside. I'm actually uh, pretty proud of that one for being my first build. So this is actually very nice inside. Okay, there's a bunch of fingerprints everywhere, so I'm going to go ahead and clean those off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the power cable into the power supply, and I'm just going to turn the computer on for just a couple seconds to make sure that it actually turns on. I'm just going to go ahead and hold the camera. so. I'm going to move it a little bit more towards my wall. The power cable is plugged into the power supply. As you can see, on switch is on. 
Okay, so I think we're ready to turn it on for the first time. I don't know if you can see it, but inside of the case, the uh, green power button. Oh, my camera's being retarded. Hold on. There is a little green power button on the motherboard itself, and the light is on. The light itself is green. So I'm going to try to move my camera around this way without actually disconnecting the microphone again. So I'm going to go ahead and push the power button, and let's see what happens. And nothing. Oh, there it goes. So everything is on. Blue fans are on. Just heard a couple of beeps from the motherboard. Just heard a couple more beeps from the motherboard. Uh, you can see the top fan is definitely on and it is spinning. The CPU fan is spinning, the rear fan is spinning. Uh, let me go down to see if the uh, video card fans are going. Because I only plugged in one six pin into the GPU, so let me check that. Yep, they're definitely on, so... It, everything seems to be turned on. Uh, there is a red light on the memory card reader, don't know what's at, what that's doing. I think I have my reset and my power switch backwards because pushing the power button does nothing. Pushing the reset switch turns everything on and it just turned itself off again. So, okay, everything turned back on again. The uh, DVD burner seems to be working. So that's it with this video. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my monitor and everything else and see what's going on.